Okay, hello and welcome to Math 4. Uh, thank you for taking a second to watch this video. I will try to keep it brief and just give you a little micro tour of the class. Um, so what we're looking at here, oh let me switch it to student view. Um, this is what your course should look like when you first log in and um, the dates may or may not be relevant to you. I'm recording this in summer of 2017 so if you're watching this later then um, just ignore the dates. Um, the main thing of the video is just to give you the course layout. So you'll have your announcements here when you first log in. These announcements will also be emailed to you each week. You'll start with the start here course information and of course you're watching this video now. Uh, my information is on this link, a little bit about me and my office hours and stuff. Please join Remind 101. Um, it's like text messaging, um, but we don't share phone numbers. So it's a really good way to get a hold of me. And of course you have your syllabus, your syllabus quiz. It's about 10 questions just to make sure that you've read the important parts of the syllabus. Introduce yourself, um, include a picture. It's an online class, so it's nice to have a picture and to put a face with the name. That's why I'm making this video with my face. And uh, your textbook is here. It's free. Um, links to the reading assignment are included in each folder, so you, you can print it out or you can just read it on the screen. It's up to you. Um, using the forum at home homework is a little bit difficult. You have to use this um, equation editor symbol, the little e with the plus sign, and when you type things in between there it makes the math pretty. Um, so it's just nice to know how to do that and it helps with um, putting your homework answers in as well. Entering, an entering answers in OM will help you, give you some more help with getting used to how OM works and putting your answers in. And um, there's some additional information here. There's a forum. Um, let me show you what a forum looks like. If I click on this forum, It's very slow. So there's nothing here because there's no new posts, but if you click on add new thread, you put a subject in here and your message and then just click uh, post thread. And some of them you can post anonymously. So if you have any questions about the course, please use that. So getting around in, in OM is not that difficult. If I want to get back to where I was, um, I just click on back on the math one breadcrumb up here and it takes me back to the start here course information and we were just about done going through um, gradebook information to help you understand the gradebook is here accessibility if you need any help with that um, testing information and technical help are all down here so all of the nuts and bolts are in your uh, start here course information now the content actually starts when you click on chapter one, whole numbers. But before I go there, let me tell you a little bit about what's on the rest of the screen. So you'll see that messages, forums, calendar, and gradebook are all repeated down here. Um, they're the same thing. So messages takes you to the messaging system. So if you want to write a message to me or to one of your classmates, um, then you just click on send new message and there isn't anybody in the course right now so I can only send one to myself but when everybody's logged in then you'll have a whole list here so there's messages it's kind of like email but it's all through OM forums uh, if you click on that it gives you a link to all of the forums in the course so it's a quick way to get there oops I went back a little too far just click back onto the course here. Sorry about that. Uh, calendar is a great tool. It shows you what all your due dates are in OM, and you can click on them to get more information. So if I click on this link, it actually takes me to that homework. So to get back, I click on the math one breadcrumb again. Um, gradebook is just oh course map course map if I click that it just gives you like a simpler version of everything um, I don't know if you find that helpful or not but uh, it's there oh I did it again <laughs> 
And the uh, gradebook is just going to tell me that I'm not a student, but if you are a student and you click on gradebook, it tells you what your grades are. You can log out here, and if you need any help using Ohm, just click this link. And up here, you can go to user settings, and if you want to add a picture of yourself, as I have, or if you need to change your email address, um, or change any of your settings, you can do that through the user profile. Um, my classes just gives you a list of all your own classes, and logout is, of course, logout. So let's take a look at um, what a chapter looks like. They all, they're all this identical um, as far as how they're laid out. You'll have your objectives, what you're going to be learning, your reading assignment. So if I click on this link, and wait a couple seconds for the book to load. It's an online book. It's not just a PDF, so it does take a little bit longer to load than a PDF. However, when you get there, um, so this is taking me to section 1.1, I think. Sorry about that. All right, well, I'll come back to that. Oh, there it is. All right, so I don't have to turn the page. I can read all of section 1-1, one, one, all in one, you know, just scroll by scrolling down. So it takes a while to load, but it's the entire section right there. And I have another video on how to read the book. All right, let me go back to the course. All right, so chapter 1. Things are not going particularly fast for me tonight. Maybe it's over here. Okay. So then you have videos. Um, and uh, if there was anything that was a little bit sticky after reading the book, you can click on the video for it and see if that helps. And you'll have a homework. Um, and I don't have it in here yet, but you will have a quiz and then a link for questions about the chapter. Um, so that's pretty much the setup of the whole thing. Again, to get to get back to where you were, just click on the Math 1 breadcrumb up here. If you have any questions about the course or the layout or how to find anything, please let me know so that I can uh, make sure to specify that next time. All right, signing off. Enjoy the course.